Hey guys, let's take a look at these smart bulbs today. They are from a company called Tekken. Here's the box for the same and it says that it works with both uh, Alexa and the Google Assistant or your Google Home. On the box it says that it works with Wi-Fi, has its own app control and a few other things that you can see there. Uh, here are some specifications on the wall page, color temperature and so on. One important thing to note is uh, usually these bulbs uh, work on 2.4 gigahertz and so if you have a 5 gigahertz internet you need to make sure that you have a 2.4 option also on your router at home seems to have a 12 month warranty and so on and here is the qr code that you can scan to install an app called smart life which is what you would need on your phone to uh, control the bug with the app that you install and with your google home device or your alexa here is a look at the actual bulb and uh, it looks like it's a packaging of two that I got here. Uh, let's go ahead and try and install it on the app. So yeah, and uh, yes, the instruction manual also is pr pretty good in there. It comes in a few languages as you see. Uh, it uh, talks of how you should download and install the Smart Life app. It works with numerous other devices also and it has the steps in there on what you need to do to install the app basically. Uh, the app will ask you to register a device for which you enter your phone number or email address and select the country you live in. Uh, you should get a text or email, enter that code in the app and then you should be set to go. I have the app already so let me bring it up. Smart Life app. Uh, I've already registered it and so on. Uh, I have the bulb put into this stand that you see here. I, let me switch it on. I mean, right now it's not plugged in as you see. I'm just gonna plug it in for a moment here. There you go. Once you plug it in, it should start flashing like that. And uh, let's see, going back to the app, I'm gonna just go say, uh, add a lighting device and uh, confirm that your light is blinking rapidly i'm going to say yes and uh, i need to make sure that it's uh, well it looks like it's making sure asking me to make sure that okay it supports so i need to change network and need to make sure that i'm on 2.4 which i believe i'm on yeah i'm on that going back to the app saying okay and it's trying to connect Let's see what happens. I think if it's supposed, there you go, it's actually detected it. So it says device found, the light stopped blinking. There you go. It's set and you could rename this. I'm probably gonna call it living room light uh, or whatever you wanna call it. I'm not gonna leave it here, but uh, just as an example, you could call it that and I say complete. And once you do that, now I'm able to uh, just control it here uh, on my phone. I'm gonna say, uh, just switch it off. There it goes off, I tap on it and it switches it off, tap on and then it again goes back on. Seems to have a color mode where you can select various colors. Uh, there you go. Uh, more description of course is available in the link on Amazon below. Uh, you can change the saturation and the brightness if you wanted to. I'm going to go back to maybe blue or red. Okay, I'll put it at 100%. It also seems to have an option. There's something called scene mode. Uh, if I click on colors, it just seems to go to various colors and I think uh, each of these puts it in different colors and looks like some of them or all of them do blink perhaps. And uh, let's see what more we have. We have schedule option here, which is actually a feature of the app. So what you could do is if you want, you could have the light to go on every day at, I don't know, seven in the evening. And again, then you could add another schedule for it to go off every day at 10 at night or, you know, at random times every day. Uh, Kind of gives a feeling to folks outside that someone's in the house even though no one may be so that's one helpful feature uh, now let's go ahead and actually link the smart life app to my google assistant or to google home they go here say add 
set up a device have something already set up I'm gonna click on that and in here go look for smart light gonna ask me for my username and password Say authorize. Done. Give it a moment for it to refresh. And I actually have a few devices. So I'm just going to go and say uh, select all of them. Or maybe just this one for now. I'm going to say next. Add it to the existing home device. And where is this? I'm going to say uh, it's at the living room. Just say next. And uh, this is if I wanted to add more, I don't want to add any more right now. So there I have the light again and I'm at Google Home right now. I click on it and there it goes on. Looks like the color option comes up here. I can select what color I want. And oh, whoa, there are quite a few colors there. There we go. Uh, oh, mentions the color name too. Cool, that's cool. And uh, what else? Yeah, let me just speak to my Google Home and ask it to turn it on or off. What does this do? Um, this makes it dimmable. Yeah, this is dimmable. That's that. Now let me try something else. Hey Google, turn off the living room light. You got it, turning off the living room light. Turn on the living room light. Okay, turning on the living room light. Perfect. So, yeah, the setup seems to be pretty straightforward. The scheduling is from the Smart Life app. And uh, as I was mentioning, if you wanted, uh, you can also, uh, what's that? You can also set up schedules. So, you know, when you're out of home or out of town or whatever, it goes on and off at particular times if you wanted to. Uh, after I linked, I mean, I already had the Smart Life app with a few devices on it. The first time I linked it after adding this device, it wouldn't show the device. So I just had to unlink the uh, Smart Life app and link it again. So, uh, yeah, uh, overall seems to be a great product. I'm going to try using it for the next two few days and see how it goes. But yeah, the setup was pretty straightforward. And I think it's a decent set of bulbs to have for uh, the price tag. So overall, um, nothing to complain and great lights. Thank you very much.